We are family. <laughs> hoo, 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 ha, ha, ha. <laughs> well, this is this is my my 21 year old today. She's a leap year baby. Her. I look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is her birthday today, and this is her big sister, Kane. You've seen her before. She never smiles hardly. She has a beautiful <laughs> smile. Smile. <laughs> Of course, you know who this is, you the know queen. I'm the star. You the know queen. I'm the star. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're out here today walking in the beautiful <laughs> sunshine. It was it was raining cats and dogs yesterday. And so now the skies are blue, the air is clean yes. and fresh. And so I just want to come to you and Say, this is my baby girl. She's 21 years old today. Life has just begun. <laughs> I remember when I was 21. Wow. <laughs> that was some time ago. I was uh, preparing to walk down the aisle with their father. <laughs> but anyway, at 21, can you, who gets married oh, today yeah. at 21 years old? <laughs> Several people oh, that are miserable people. in the next <laughs> <laughs> Guys really? Not only. <laughs> <laughs> People always try to get married real young and they're like, oh. <laughs> That's why I'm unmarried now. <laughs> young people? Young people? Yeah. I mean, like they say, to enjoy your young, your youth. And that's the ages when you go clubbing and all that and dating different people. So when they realize they can't do that, then they're unhappy. I do that with the person they're married to, and they get tired of that. Like, I'm here. If you have a day, I live with you. I don't want to go out with you. I'm going to go out with you. I just think that people who get married young, they have an idealized view of what marriage is. They believe that they're supposed to be each other's everything, best friend and all that. But life, as you get older, you learn that you need a group of friends in addition to your relationship your spouse whatever and when you're younger you're way more possessive and jealous so you don't understand that it's okay for each other to have space to have friends to have separate activities and separate ventures you feel like why do you need a best friend when you have me and then you smother each other and then that's when you get miserable like she said but as you get older and travel more and realize the world is bigger than the city you grew up in, the town you grew up in, like Moreno Valley. <laughs> then you realize that it's better to have someone that has something going on, just like you have something going on, and that has bigger dreams than just staying in the same area unless you're making a difference within that area and that's your dream to impact your community where you grew up but so a lot of people they realize later man I I wish I could travel for a living but you've already married somebody and y'all live on the same street you grew up on <laughs> so they're not gonna they're not gonna be down with that so it just takes time to develop into the best version of yourself and if you're already married to someone who's not the best version of themselves, you can end up having opposing ideas about life. But it's too late, you're already married. <laughs> so but now you just gotta grow together yeah. and have no choice but to grow together because right. you're married. Right. Like I don't believe in getting married to get a divorce. Right. And then don't have some kids. Because it doesn't matter where you go, you'll never escape that person. <laughs> I mean, but things happen. Things happen to get a divorce. Like, I don't know, craziness. If this, if I feel like if this no reason to get a divorce other than that person cheated on you or hit you or something like that, don't get a divorce. You can work it out. You know, right. like cheating is just something that it's just so unrepairable. No once tolerance. Once it's been done, but once it's been done, it's like. Yeah, See you, Fanny. That person, but <laughs> you that person, See you, but Fanny. What, what's the dynamic of your relationship change now? You See you, Fanny. And once you See hit you someone, shut up. <laughs> and once you put your hand on somebody. See you, Fanny. That's, that's a big no-no. 
Yeah. That's a big no. Don't put it in. <laughs> no, we're not gonna be fighting and scrambling like two morning. 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 Like two little girls in high school. Yeah, no. No, that's not a problem. That can get you killed if you fight if your husband yeah. starts hitting you. Yeah. He's way stronger than you. And he can just lash Usually. out. Usually. Yeah. He can just lash out and black out and do whatever. And you could be dead the next day. So yeah. that's not good. Those are the two main reasons why I feel like that. You should get a divorce. So if someone puts their hands on you and if someone cheats on you. However, there are many, many couples who get cheated on repeatedly, who for some reason still stay. I don't understand you guys, but I don't stand in judgment because when you've created a life with someone, and especially if you have kids or even if you don't, it's difficult to detach from someone. And so if it's not enough for you that they cheated to detach, then I pray that God will reign supreme over your relationship and that things will get better. But as for me, I pay real close attention to the signs beforehand. I refuse to marry someone that cheats on me. So if I'm in a relationship and someone is cheating on me, see ya. Like I'm not marrying you because that's crazy. That's the trajectory for our marriage. Like what do I have to lose at that point? But once you're married to somebody, you can't just detach that easily. So I, I advise people, I would advise, if you're in a relationship with someone and they cheat on you or put their hands on you, you gotta go. Because they're only gonna do it more and more as they become more and more complacent in your relationship. Or you might find yourself doing it because you resent the fact that they did it to you before you were married. Either way, I believe there's way too many people in, in this world to settle with one person who doesn't respect you enough to remain faithful to you if that's something you require in your relationship some people are like if he's cheating as long as i don't know yeah these uh -uh. days no if i know <laughs> we're gonna have a discussion about it see you Benny. i'm not i mean i can't judge because of course i was cheating on didn't leave right away but see it yeah not there now yeah <laughs> But everybody's different. Everybody has. I thought they were through. Okay. <laughs> everybody has their own views and standards, their own breaking points and limits about things. So if cheating is something that is not a deal breaker for you, then all right. <laughs> but as for those of us who it is, you cheat, your time is up. <laughs> See you, Fanny. You're out of here because I don't have time to be trying to repair a broken relationship. This is just a relationship. We don't have no property. We don't have nothing together. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some property, some investments, all that with someone who's not gonna cheat on me. Cause how I see it is, if you're willing to cheat on me, my body is sacred. You're willing to violate my body by being in someone else's body, you'll give my money away. And we, we're not gonna have that. So it's all tied together as far as I'm concerned. And uh, I don't have time. Everybody got time for that. <laughs> and there you have it. The Alexander <laughs> girls have spoken, and it is law, and that is it, and that is all. Peace out. Grandma? No, no. Bye. Grandma? Oh, no. I don't have nothing else to say. I mean, hey. Today. Hey. <laughs> Happy birthday, Shabby. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Ha, ha, ha.